Hey guys, I'm David Lezik and today we're going to shoot three things. How to strengthen your wrist, how to practice your headbutts in training, and also a couple of combos of headbutts in the clinch. Welcome to Let's Wait Tuesday. So today I'm with my boy Anwar from Uzbekistan, my bro. We train together every day. Uh, Anwar actually fought Litwe uh, many times and uh, now he's a glory fighter, high level striker and very happy to have him as my training partner. What do you like the most uh, when you fight yeah, uh, Litwe? Yeah, very, very strong Litwe fight. More aggressive. You like, I like aggressive? It. Yeah, I love this fight. We're gonna dive right into it. So what I want to show you today is one a bit unorthodox is from I want to hit underneath Anvar's chin. So I'm a bit down. He's not expecting, he's, he's maybe expecting my head bust from the side. I want to bend a little bit, watch out for the knees and then come up. That's his chin, for example. I want to come and I push with my leg like I would do a squat. And then I can continue afterward. Again inside, I want to do crack. Again, I'm still hitting with my crown, the, the hard part of my head. Crack and push. For a fraction of a second, I go down, I come up, and but I don't stop like we spoke last time. I don't stop at one hit. It's the third, the, the fourth, the fifth. It's usually not the first one that's going to knock him out. It's the uh, accumulation of hits. After your headbutt, continue. Boom, boom, boom. A lot of guys message me, you know, how, it's cool that you show me how to, uh, to do headbutts, but how do you train it in training? It's really hard because you don't want to like, knock out your teammate. So I'm with Anvar here. We do a lot of clinching every day. So you want to train your brain to always be ready for a headbutt. What we do is we can put the, head, the hand on top of the head and boom. What I do sometimes in the clinch like this, can, I can be like my hand here and I headbutt. You feel it a little bit? Yeah. You feel you, you, <laughs> your partner feels it a little bit, but not that hard. It's mostly your hand that absorbs the impacts. So clinch, crack, push, hush. So but make sure you put your hand there, but that's how you train your head, your, uh, your brain to always have those headbutts uh, when you're fighting, because you fight like you train. You know, if you train like very slow and you don't put your headbutts, you know, then chances are you won't do it in the fight. Any way possible, I can like this, uh -huh. I can put boom. Another thing in fighting, let's say we're, we're being the clinch in fighting, my, I would put my hand here to prevent him from headbutting me. But when I remove it, I headbutt, but I put it back right afterwards. That actually saved me uh, my first fight uh, against two, my first list weight fight. I was told right two minutes before going in the ring, put your hand like this. And actually I put it and he headbutted me in my, my hand, headbutted my face. So that's a lifesaver right there. So one, two, three, one, two, three, headbutts right there. Bang. One, two, one, two, elbow, one, two, three, elbow, boom. So that simulates if you're in the clinch, side head, headbutt, boom. Again, you see I headbutt my hand. So after I do my knee, I come up. So that would have either like 10 ounce, 12 ounce, or even MMA glove for training. One, two, knee, knee, headbutt, knee, headbutt. So guys, you see, it's freestyle. Let your imagination go. Like we're basically redefining the game in Litwe. Nothing is really written. It's it's a very very old sport, and we're basically uh, writing the whole thing. So now let's go for uh, the last minute. I'm going to show you how to strengthen your wrist, and then we're good. So last thing for this week is how to strengthen your wrist for bare knuckle fighting. Many of you messaged me, you know, how you train for, for Lithuania, for bare knuckle, even for street fight. Those tips are actually good for MMA as well. You want to make sure you have at least once every couple of days or at least once a week a bare knuckle back session. Simple, you go bare knuckle and you hit the fuck out of the back. You want to do your, your jab, a lot of jab, you know, repetition. You make sure you tight your wrist. Aish, aish. I, the thumb can hurt over time, so make sure you, you tuck it in. It's easier to have injuries when you fight bare knuckle. So, boom, boom, boom. I want to make sure you uh, you do this at least once a week. Uh, if you're not comfortable at first to hit bare knuckle, maybe start with boxing glove, 12 ounce, 10 ounce. Drop down to MMA gloves. You want to hit your pads as well with MMA gloves, but uh, don't neglect your bare knuckle back session. If you can do it at least with, with nothing, strong, switch it up with elbows, with headbutts, and that's the key for having strong wrists for Litwe. So Litwe Tuesday next week, uh, we're killing it. Three weeks in a row, I'm pretty happy. Stay tuned, share the video, like it. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate all your messages and uh, we'll keep it coming.